I get this question a lot from many of my patients, and I've seen many people do it wrong. This, I go like this, fuck the trees, right? and then I go like this. It's like a baseball. Today, I will tell you the best way to wipe your butt after you poop. I'm Nurse Swamp, and this is Butt Talks. start with a simple question. How many sheets of toilet paper do you use after you poop? A. The whole roll, wiping as many times as you want. B. Many squares and repetitive wipes. C. Few squares and one or two wipes. The answer to many people's surprise is C. If you wipe gently and there's little to nothing on your toilet paper, congratulations! You really got your sh** together. Unfortunately, this is not the case for many people. Many of my patients tell me they have to wipe excessively after they poop to feel clean. As a GI nurse for over 20 years, let me show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to properly clean your butt after you poop. Step 1. A general wipe with a few squares of toilet paper. After pooping, start with a general wipe with a few squares of toilet paper. Wipe your anus from front to back. This is especially important for females. Even a tiny amount of poop can get into your vagina and cause infection, and that's definitely not pretty. Make sure you wipe gently and slowly. When I say gently, this should be the amount of pressure that you should place when you're wiping your butt. If you wipe too much or too hard or too fast, you may irritate your skin, which can lead to even worse problems like butt rash. Just like rubbing your eyes can make your eyelid tissue saggy from excessive friction, the same goes for your butt skin. That's a buddy beauty tip if you want your buddy nice and puckered. This is optional, but I personally like to use a berry bottle or bidet to spray some water on my bun before wiping. The water can relax your muscles and soften the residue on your buddy, making the wiping easier. This general wipe, although simple, should actually clean off the majority of your poop. Step 2. Second wipe with dampened toilet paper and lotion. After the initial wipe, we will have another wipe for more detailed cleaning. Dampen your toilet paper with some water and put some lotion on it. Be sure to choose a gentle formula with no harsh chemicals like phalanol or aloe vera. If you prefer an easier method, you could use a pre-moisten wipe. I recommend Dickinson's with Jasel wipes. They are natural and compact enough to carry around if you're on the go. For more recommendation, you should watch my butt cream video. But if you prefer the natural formula, you should watch my video on the natural butt creams. Then, with the dampened toilet paper or pre-moistened wipe, gently wipe your butt slowly from front to back. This step can help you pick up any small sticky Klingons and make your buddy extra clean. Usually, these two steps should do the trick. If you have your lifestyle and diet on point, your poop should have enough bulk to slide out easily without too much sticky residue. If you feel the need to wipe excessively because there's always brown on your toilet paper or if you see streaks on your underwear, this could mean that your poop is too soft or too watery. In this case, you can fix it by adding more fiber in your diet, cutting down your fat intake, and or adjusting your medications. Too much fat can make your poop watery and runny. Besides high fat intake, there are other foods that can also cause diarrhea, such as spicy food and artificial sugar. Watch our diarrhea video for potential causes for watery and runny poops. Try to monitor and adjust your diet for a few weeks to see if your poop texture improves. Let us know if you find this video helpful. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a
have a great poop day.